But we begin at 11 with a Target 12 investigators exclusive. We're getting our first look at who visited Aaron Hernandez while he was at the Bristol County House of Corrections. The jail in North Dartmouth was the first place Hernandez was housed as he waited trial for the murder of Odin Lloyd. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with his exclusive findings. June 26 marks four years to the day that New England and the nation was stunned with the arrest of Aaron Hernandez. Records supplied to Target 12 show his first visitor came to the jail five days later. When Aaron Hernandez arrived at the Bristol County House of Corrections in 2013, he was kept here in what's called the ED unit, normally where the worst of the worst are held for disciplinary reasons. They put the food there. But Colonel James Lancaster says as a celebrity, Hernandez was kept here out of the general population for his own safety. The cell that he was in um, was G1 right here, the first time that he was here. Unlike other inmates in this unit, Hernandez didn't have a cellmate and he had more free reign. But he, he would come out without any restraints, and we just let him in. This is the room Hernandez would meet with visitors. Down here is just general population visiting. Um, it's non-contact. Non-contact, meaning the inmate is separated by a piece of plexiglass, talking to a friend or a loved one using this blue phone. The sheriff's office, we have the right to, um, to record and listen into all conversations except for legal conversations. According to records obtained by Target 12, Hernandez's first visit came five days after his arrest. The log shows it was attorney Michael Fee. His first non-lawyer visit came the next day from his California agent, Brian Murphy. As you'd imagine, Hernandez's legal team dominated the visitor list, but second most with 10 visits that year, Cheyenne Jenkins. She was listed originally as fiance, then later girlfriend. Spokesperson Jonathan Darling says visitors write in their relationship with the inmate on the form. It's one of those things that's e easily overlooked. The forms are small and there's a lot to fill out. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, that that is the official record of their relationship. The log shows Hernandez's mother and daughter visited three times while here. Inmate visits can be taken away if an inmate misbehaves, but Darling says that was not the case with Hernandez. So let's be clear, the sheriff's office views visitation as an inmate perk. Yes, it's an inmate perk, but it's one that we um, highly recommend. We want to keep the relationships between family, that bond as strong as we can, because it, it can only be a benefit when you are released back into society. Hernandez was also housed in Suffolk County. The sheriff's office has not responded to our request for the visitors list. The Massachusetts Department of Corrections would not supply the information from when Hernandez was at the Sousa Baranowski prison in Shirley. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, call our tip line 228-1763. You can also email us at target12 at wpri.com.